You have a very important meeting coming up with a hard to reach client and you want to make sure that you're fully prepared for the meeting. There are certain questions you should ask in this meeting and there are certain questions that you should avoid. And that takes us to the Knoll Sales Coach Priority GPS, a system of asking questions to ensure that you ask the right questions in the meeting to get the right information in order to build the right solution for your client. The no priority GPS starts with the priority and priority simply says this, a proposal requires that you first conduct an issues and opportunities review. Any proposal that you make to a client without having first conducted an issues and opportunities review is sales malpractice. So let's look at the questions that you need to be asking in order to get to the right information. First of all, you must ask the right questions of the right people in the right order. And that's a critical part of this learning process. Different people respond differently to different questions depending on their role in the organization that you're selling to. So clearly the questions of a CEO would be different from that of a brand manager. The questions of an owner would be different from then the questions of a, of, of a sales manager. The questions of a general manager of a car dealership would be different than the questions of someone managing the used car department. So learning to ask the right questions of the right people in the right order is critical to your success. This may be the single most important sales skill you will develop moving forward in your career. Let's look at two rules that we have for asking questions. First one is, in order to ask the right questions of the right people, you must earn the right with that person to ask the questions that count. The second rule in the Knowles Sales Coach for asking the right questions is you must know what your clients value. So often we go out and we pitch what we value as a station. In order to be effective, our questions have to uncover what our clients value, what's important to them. So in this Knoll Priority GPS questioning system, we've identified three types of questions. The first type of questions is what we call general questions, and we'll explain them in detail. The second type of questions are questions about the client's problems and unmet opportunities. And the third type of questions that you will ask are what's called solution-oriented questions that lead to you creating a presentation as a solution to the client's problems and unmet opportunities. But let's look at these general questions first. General questions are questions about the client's current situation, who their target customer is, what their marketing budget is, what kind of competitive spending they're doing in the marketplace. And there's been a lot of research done on general questions in the last 25 years. As our buyers, as our clients, as the prospects that we call on have become more sophisticated in their use of media, we find that these general questions today, if we ask them of the right people at the wrong time, are first of all ineffective at best. Asking current situational questions to a very important person, the organization that you're selling to, is an ineffective means of sales. Secondly, research shows that virtually everyone goes in and asks these questions. So the clients have heard them before and the truth is they're sick of hearing them because they're a waste of time for the client. These questions are usually detrimental to the sales process. They hurt your personal brand. And the reason they hurt your personal brand is asking general questions simply uncovers information that's beneficial to you, the seller. So from the client's perspective, they're giving you information to help you sell them something that they're not sure that they want or they need. So you want to avoid these general questions in important meetings. And you want to have these questions answered in advance. It's critical that you must get these questions answered in advance of your important call. So let's take a look at the second type of questions. These are the high gain questions and they're very, very difficult to get good at. These are questions about the client's problems and opportunities. And yeah, you've got to get in there and get under their skin a little bit perhaps. These are questions about pain in their organization or desire, things they would like to achieve in their organization. Often when you ask these questions, the clients aren't sitting there thinking about this type of information. So you're uncovering things that lie below the surface. These questions, research shows, get your prospect thinking differently about their business. They often uncover issues that the prospect themselves haven't even thought about or at least they're not thinking about currently. So they get them thinking about 
their business differently, which also gets them thinking about potential solutions. Now you are, in effect, opening this prospect up to your solutions, to their pain and their opportunity that they're trying to achieve. So let's get started. How do you ask these problem and opportunity questions? Well, first of all, you need to write them out in advance. And you need to start with, if possible, open-ended questions, questions that can't be answered yes or no. You also want to ask yourself as you're scribing these questions, does this question make me sound more knowledgeable? Is this a question about their business that says I know something about their business? Does the question relate specifically to their business? And does the question relate to their objectives? The way you get started with problem or opportunity questions is simple. You start with problems and opportunities that you think the client has, you think the prospect has. And obviously, the best way to find out about those problems is to interview someone in their organization before you go in to have the meeting. The best problem and opportunity question you will ever ask in your career is one that you already know the answer to. So you'll be asking these problem and opportunity questions about issues and opportunities that you know you can solve with your products and services that you're offering to the client. So start by asking yourself, what problems or opportunities do I think or know they have? And then begin to describe your problem and opportunity questions. And they sound like this. Is it a problem for you that dot, dot, dot? What's the one thing you would like to see in the future? What have you found to be the biggest hurdle to get something accomplished? What would it mean to your business if in the future this happened? What concerns do you have with your current advertising? What concerns do you have with selling new cars? What concerns do you have with getting people to use your service department more often? And then finally, the catch-all problem and opportunity question is when you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you start thinking about your business, what is it that's keeping you awake at night? It's a great way to get a conversation starting. Now, when you ask a problem and opportunity question, here's what's going to happen. They're going to throw something out, and you're going to want to start selling right away. But you can't do that. What you've got to do is listen. This is very similar to handling objections. Listen. Don't sell. Don't close. Don't argue. Ask more problem and opportunity questions. Well, what if that doesn't get better? How does that affect your employees? How would your employees feel about it if that happened to you in your business? Would it be good for your employees? Could that lead to dot, dot, dot? So you want to ask more questions about those problems and opportunities. It's very, very difficult to do. This is a mindset and a skill set that very few of us have had practice on, and it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. So once you've asked a series of problem and opportunity questions and you've taken notes and you've gathered the data, you want to paraphrase back to the prospect what you've heard by saying things like, if I understand you correctly, I want to make sure that I have this. Is it possible if I share my notes with you? Now that you've paraphrased back what you've heard and you've got the client nodding yes, that you heard me correctly, and they're in that frame of mind to move forward, you get to move to the last set of questions. And that's when you want to reframe the conversation, move away from the problems and issues that they're experiencing into your potential solution. And that's when you start to ask your solution-oriented questions. These are questions that establish value for your solution because you're going to be linking your solution to their problems and unmet opportunities. These are questions that focus on a payoff and not the problem. These are questions that are positive, helpful, and constructive. And these questions also move the discussion toward action and commitment. Now, the last thing you have to do before you leave is set the next meeting. Critical that you create an advancement and set the next meeting. And if you would like to see a template of these questions, go to the Conducting the Meeting section of the Knowles Sales Coach, go into the Templates section, and you will find problem and opportunity questions written for all the major selling categories. Good luck. It takes lots of practice. Stick to it, and you will see a huge change in your personal results.